Hello and welcome to another Zax Advisor Tools video tutorial. Today we will be focusing on the charting functionalities including performance charting, fundamental charting, technical charting, as well as accessing charts while researching an individual stock and non-financial metrics and then going a step further to export charts for client outreach and social media presence. So first of all, the performance chart from a watch list. So as you can see on the top left, uh, you can select display tickers from, uh, and once you do this, the ticker symbols in your watch list uh, will come in down here below securities so that you can choose to click on or click off and they will uh, appear on the performance chart. You also have two options, uh, single panel or panel per financial security. Uh, and you also have the performance format. Uh, you can do total return including dividends or just strictly the price return. So if we switch to panel layout, now I have it at panel per financial security. So you can see I have Disney's performance, Amazon's performance, and Shell's performance all split up into different charts here. Now, I would like to keep stressing this. If you do create custom charts, screens or tables, it is very important to save your charts when finished. The Save Chart tab will also log all of the unique charts you've created in the past. Now, comparing your charts to sector and industry average. Taking your performance charts a step further, you can also use the Compare To function that I've highlighted in red on the bottom left so that you can see how the securities in your chart stack up against sector or industry averages. You can also opt to do this on a relative basis so that the chart doesn't get overcrowded. Now moving on to the fundamental chart. The fundamental chart is an excellent index, economic, and individual security data resource our library of economic data is directly linked to the FRED, so there is a wealth of information. With all of this reliable info from multiple different resources, it makes it easy to create a chart that will help you draw educated conclusions and see how different aspects of the markets interact with one another. You can also incorporate corporate actions into the chart, which is provided out in the bottom left. These corporate actions include when dividends were released, if there are any stock splits, etc. Moving on, the technical chart. With the technical chart, you will have to manually enter individual ticker symbols under securities and select add. From here, you will click Browse Next to find indicators. This will bring up our library that you can overlay on the technical chart and apply to the security in question. Once you have done this, all you have to do is click the box next to the indicator and it will appear on the technical chart. Conversely, if you want to remove an indicator, just click the box again and it will no longer be blue and it will be removed from the chart. Lastly, if you really get into the weeds on the technical chart, be sure to keep saving along the way. So now charting from an individual stocks page. You'll see on the top that we have our three main fundamental performance and technical charts that you can easily access once you've searched for a stock, uh, but the key pieces here are the fundamental surprise chart and the non-financial metric surprise chart. So when you search for an individual equity, you'll have access 
to these fundamental surprise charge and non-financial metric surprise charge, which I will cover next. So the fundamental surprise chart. This is a very useful resource because you can get a clear picture of how the price of a security reacts after an earnings beat or an earnings miss. You can also utilize revenue surprises by clicking the button I highlighted in red and making the adjustment from there. As for the non-financial metrics, these can vary by company. I chose Disney for this example because the revenue they receive from ticket sales has a large impact on their business and has recently plummeted due to the pandemic. Uh, these non-financial metric surprise charts are insightful for a plethora of reasons. Take Amazon, for example. A whale of a company, but if you look at their non-financial metric chart, you can see that their cloud and web services, commonly known as AWS, have a large impact on their business, even though it seems like they are predominantly a e-commerce or retail company. Lastly, uh, exporting a chart so that you can get uh, your information offline. All you have to go is to the top right-hand corner, click on options, and you can export uh, as a PDF file or a PNG file. And uh, right above that, uh, where mine says ZD Sales, each of yours will have your own uh, unique username. You can take that uh, and upload your company's logo. And when you export these charts, uh, your company's logo will be included uh, with this chart. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions on any of these topics, feel free to reach out to myself. Uh, and if I'm not available, uh, the rest of our Chicago-based account management team should be able to answer any questions that you may have. Mm -hmm.